we have something. This may actually be criminal footage from Donald Trump's home. Let me run the video, then give you the background. Here it is. Okay, <clears throat> this video has now sparked significant outrage. It has called for a new search warrant of Trump properties for classified materials, but investigators may not have enough evidence to actually get a warrant, okay? So this was really interesting. Uh, the video circulated over the weekend and raised suspicions. Uh, NBC News correspondent uh, told Morning Joe, that's uh, that what's uh, seen in the video is not enough for an actual warrant. Here it is. Obviously, we, we don't know the, the inner workings of this investigation, but um, what's required is more than just a theory that some evidence might be at a place. They need actual hard evidence. And in the case of this Mar-a-Lago search, they had they had witnesses who were telling them that not only was there classified information there, but that they were misled, that they were lied to essentially by the Trump side. Um, and they and that's all blacked out in the affidavit, but we're aware that it exists. And they use that to go to a judge and say, judge, we need to do a search. Absent that, like, for example, there's a there's a social media theory going around. There's some there's some video of Trump aides loading boxes onto a private jet heading for Bedminster. And I have to say, I mean, I, when I first saw that on Twitter the, over the weekend, I thought, oh, another conspiracy theory. The more you look at it, the more it's pretty disturbing. I mean, these banker boxes are the same kinds of boxes that the classified documents were found in. But absent any other kinds of evidence, they, they would need witnesses telling them, yes, there were classified documents in those boxes and they were taken to Bedminster. They're not just going to do it uh, based on a video or on a theory. Yeah, so let me say this. Um, Ken is somewhat right, and I have a lot of respect for Ken, but here's where I draw a distinction. Uh, the court <clears throat> does not have what's called um, a statutory requirement for issuing a warrant. This, the federal court uses what's called totality of circumstances. There was a time when the court had to meet four different elements in order to sign a warrant. That was a federal rule. They suspended that rule with a historic Supreme Court decision where that decision created what's called totality of circumstances, which allowed for anonymous tips, videos, et cetera, to be used and a judge could make a determination based on the, once again, totality of circumstances, all right? So let me give you a little more background to this. The January 6th committee has now said they got more information. They have probably more witnesses as well. Lawmakers are considering whether to seek Donald Trump's testimony. Now, I want you to hear this. Whether to seek Donald Trump's testimony and still hoping to negotiate an interview with Mike Pence, and they still must decide what to do with Republican lawmakers who have defied their subpoenas as the next round of public hearings are about to be announced. Okay, see, I already got a problem. You're deciding what to do with Republican lawmakers that told you to kiss their ass. You, you, you're trying to figure out. But what, what, what is our next step? The committee has the authority to issue subpoenas, which means by constitutional ruling, if you have the authority to issue a subpoena, the United States Supreme Court says, by constitutional dynamics. If the body has the authority to issue subpoenas, the body also has the authority to enforce them. Meaning the January 6th committee could actually have Republican lawmakers arrested. I know that just violates the conscience of all of the institutional powers and the protection that they would like to see these people of influence have. We'll keep playing games because if Republicans get in power, they're gonna lock up some Democrats. If they ever get back in power again, 
there are some Democrats who are going to go to jail. Many of them, many of them are going to go to jail, go to jail and should not go to jail. All right. There's more. The Justice Department investigation of Trump's possession of top secret materials at Mar-a-Lago has complicated matters and a federal grand jury has accelerated its investigation into the former president's efforts to overturn the election, which a Georgia special grand jury is also probing. I'm going to get into that in a second. So the committee is dealing with a few things. Number one, they are trying to negotiate with Mike Pence. Another problem, just send him a subpoena. Why are you negotiating? Send him a subpoena. Mike Pence is a regular person. He has no presidential powers. He has no vice presidential powers, doesn't exist. He's a former VP. He barely has a security detail, okay? Send him a subpoena. They're not willing to do that. And you really think Trump is going to be compelled by you to give testimony? Come on now, what kind of games are we playing here? You have the authority to give a subpoena. That's a mandate. Why are you giving a request? There's more. <clears throat> Those investigations have also put pressure, pressure on the select committee to share its transcripts of witness interviews and panel uh, chairman Thompson has indicated that they will release most, if not all of those publicly, although it's not clear <clears throat> when that would happen. The committee has not yet agreed uh, when to release its comprehensive final report. Um, one of the representatives, Raskin, said that, uh, that the panel planned at least two more blockbuster hearings, including one this month, but all of his work <clears throat> will soon conclude as staffers leave their jobs as part of the normal transition that accompanies the midterm election. Senator, you have a lot of experience dealing with these particular political processes. What say you to this? Yeah, they definitely need to duck, make some examples of their colleagues that's sitting right there side by side with them in the Congress. I mean, they were involved in a coup. Uh, yeah. January the 6th wasn't a, a, a ring around the rosies. It was they were trying to overthrow the government because they didn't like the outcome of the election. Democrats, when they have the power, they like to play a little kumbaya too much for me. And I agree that Republicans are not going to play if they get the power back. So they need to deal with all of this, but particularly their colleagues that they letting off the hook. It makes no sense to me. Boot them off those committees. As you said, send them a subpoena. And in the words of Donald Trump, lock them up. You know, That's now right. we're going to talk about some lockup. Let's turn lockup yeah. around and lock their behinds up. That's right.